Josh Brolin does a mean Tommy Lee Jones, but is that the best this movie has to offer? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Men in Black 3. Somehow history has been rewritten. There has to be a reason this is happening, and Kay seems to be at the center of it. You're gonna send me back to 1969. First, we gotta get high. My man, for real? No, I mean really high. All you gotta do is jump. You've got 24 hours. After that, there is no coming back. Okay. How do you know my name? Well, it turns out that Josh Brolin's imitation is not all this movie has to offer. It also features Jermaine Clement as the big bad. Jermaine Clement! Sure, he's buried under a lot of makeup, but that hilarious Jermaine Clement personality is sure to come through. Is Clement considered such box office poison at this point that the studio feels he needs to be kept under wraps? And what about Pussycat Dolls Nicole Scherzinger, who plays his own personal Harley Quinn? Plus, there's even rumored to be a cameo from Lady Gaga. All three editions make the movie seem infinitely more interesting, yet the publicity is focused mainly on Will Smith. Why? Well, that's because Men in Black 3 has been all about Will Smith from day one. Even as the film began to shoot, Smith continued to tweak the script, causing huge delays and for the film to run over budget. And of course, there was Trailergate, where residents in Soho didn't take too kindly to Smith's two-story trailer parked on their street. He eventually had to move it to a nearby parking lot. This all indicates one hell of an ego, considering Smith hasn't made a movie since 2008. But with the exception of that last movie, Seven Pounds, Smith went out on top. Seven hits on a row. With a track record like that, statements like, I own the 4th of July, don't seem delusional. So what happened? Smith decided to invest in his future. He spent a lot of time working with his wife to launch the career of their two kids, Jaden and Willow. In fact, they've done such a good job building their kids' careers while keeping them grounded that in a recent Vanity Fair poll, the Smiths were voted the Hollywood couple people would most likely be willing to let raise their own kids. Smith has also been spending some time at the White House, where he and President Obama have even discussed the idea of Smith playing him in a future film. But now that he's secured the inside track on an Obama bio and his kids are doing quite well, it's time for Smith to refocus on his own career. Can he jump right back into the game with Men in Black 3, or is he a little rusty? Plus, once you're gone for so long, can you come right back to the same level of popularity as when you left? Let's go find out. So Justin's back. Hi. Justin has been a BTT uh, regular since BTT started. And he just started his own movie review show. You're yes, up to I did. episode nine. Nine. Episode right? nine just went up this right. morning. So you can check out his channel here, at Lower Third. So, all right, Men in Black Three. Men in Black Three. Give us your thoughts. It was good. Just like old times. It had some new twists that were fun, uh, new relationships, new characters. Uh, oh, did it, is it in a positive way, or are you yeah. like, get this crap out of my Men in no, Black definitely, movie? No, definitely, definitely a positive way. Great movie. You learn yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot from the past from it. Uh, you learn why Tommy Lee Jones is such a Tight ass, I guess. <laughs> Josh Brolin yeah? was incredible. I mean, he was t Tommy Lee wow. Jones. To replace Tommy Lee Jones, it's like uh, not a simple thing, and uh, he did pretty good. I could not tell the difference. Really? He studied him so well, <laughs> and it was so good. It was excellent. I love Josh Brolin, and he really does a lot of diverse, I'll say diverse Southern characters. <laughs> yes. Like yeah. George Bush, you know, yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. He does a really good job of imitating Southern well, it's, people, It's I guess. weird because he's like a character actor who doesn't yeah. get any respect for being a character no, actor, I feel. but he's really good. What did you think of him going back to the 1960s? Everybody's doing that now with Mad Men. Are you tired <laughs> of going back to the 60s? No, I think why not? Let's just keep doing it. I think it's, it's fun. <laughs> it was pretty good. I mean, that was a historic moment in U.S. history. I mean, uh, landing on moon, Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Are you tired of going back to the uh, 60s? No, not really. No? It was fun. I, <laughs> I had a bit of fun with it. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm glad to, to see Brooklyn being represented in a, in a movie. Yeah? I, I'm real proud of Brooklyn. Fan oh, fan. great. Is that like a prominent thing in the film? A lot of Brooklyn? Uh, a lot of Brooklyn, a lot of past. Uh, Coney Island brings me back great memories when it was uh, booming. This movie, I felt, was more on the story. Oh, real? well, that's nice for a blockbuster. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, uh, the story is very important, even though you have special effects and action. And um, this one has it. This is new news. It's, it's not old news. They they did a very smart thing with the way they handled the story. I oh. heard that they were having troubles with the... With yeah, the, yeah. They were rewriting the it on set. That. But I, I think at the end it came out pretty well. I really liked it. I really enjoyed so it. Will so Will Smith was justified. Yeah. Being like, hold on everybody, yeah. right? Well, Will Smith, he's been gone since 2008. Does he come back without missing a beat? Easy. He's Will Smith. He's, Will, he's still the Fresh Prince. We all love him for that. <laughs> um, and he does a great job. So I noticed you didn't see it in 3D today. No, uh, there, no. There are not a lot of 3D showings, and that's because uh, Sony doesn't want to pay for the 3D glasses. They want the theaters to pay for them. Oh, uh, so I, how, I, I didn't know that. How do you feel about that? Do you think Sony should just pay for them? 
Or do you think they're right that maybe the theater should chip in? Well, well why don't they go 50-50? Oh, like, yeah, compromise. Yeah. Most people put their glasses in the bin at the end and you recycle them. If Sony aren't making enough money anyway, <laughs> they can pitch in for glasses here and right? there, surely. Extra $4 for a pair of glasses I'm going to give you back does not make sense to me at all. That's hilarious. Yeah, they should just sell us one pair and let us keep them. That's, I'm right? okay with that. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I give it a 8.5, 9. I give it a 7. I definitely give a 9. Eight or nine. I'd say it's an eight. A seven and a half? Nine. Nine, nine and a half. Looks like it is worth a trip back in time to enjoy this franchise all over again as audiences give the latest Men in Black movie on eight. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope to go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.